Who would have thought it'd be such a great time to be an indie comic fan? With the success of recent hits like The Boys and Umbrella Academy, it seems like streaming services are down to invest in lesser known stories. Following suit with this, a short teaser was released for Netflix's latest comic book adaptation, Jupiter's Legacy, based on the series written by Mark Miller. Of course, I imagine some of you are wondering what the heck this show's all about. So in today's video, we'll be discussing every major detail we know about Jupiter's legacy so far. For some background on Jupiter's legacy, the original comic was created by Mark Miller and Frank Quietly back in 2013. Miller is perhaps most known for writing two small Marvel comics events, Civil War and Old Man Logan. Maybe you've heard of them. The series follows a group of superheroes called The Union, who first received their powers when going on an island expedition in the 1930s. The main character, Sheldon Sampson, had seen the mysterious island in a dream, claiming that something within would help rebuild the United States, which was going through the Great Depression at the time. Upon visiting the island, Sampson, along with his wife, brother, and multiple friends would all become imbued with various superpowers. They'd go on to serve their country and help restore it to greatness. The subsequent decades would see them become a world-famous team, helping the US through the Second World War and an endless number of conflicts all the way until the present day. As you'd imagine, they became legends and the standard of inspiration for society. They would strive only to serve the country without the worry of money or interfering in politics. They did this in hopes that their children would carry on their work and push society further, but this actually proves to be a major detriment to them. In the present day, the team are seen as superstars, but their children appear to have fallen into the trappings of fame and fortune, and struggled to navigate that kind of lifestyle while attempting to live up to the family name. This is the basic premise of the comic without going too in-depth and entering spoiler territory. Let's just say that there's much, much more to it than that. However, I will say that there's a lot of unique superhero abilities that I love to see play out in live action. Needless to say, if you have not read this series, it is definitely worth checking out. While it's not clear how closely the series will follow the comic, fans of the series will be happy to hear that creators of the comic Mark Miller and Frank Quietly will serve as executive producers alongside Lorenzo D. Bonaventura and Stephen S. DeKnight. The involvement of the creators would at least guarantee that the series remains faithful to the spirit of the source material, but since the series is lesser known, it's possible that it could deviate in some ways. After all, almost all comic adaptations take liberties in one form or another. Miller has stated in an interview with Entertainment Weekly that the series will jump back and forth between the past and the present, contrasting the naive optimism of Sheldon Sampson who believes he's gonna save America with the present day and how he ultimately knows that he failed on a number of levels. The world he failed and even failed his kids because of how they turned out. Miller even drew comparison to The Incredibles, but if the kids were a nightmare. Knowing Miller's past work, namely on Civil War and Old Man Logan, this sounds about right, as he is no stranger to tragic superhero stories. If the source material is also any indication on the series, we can likely expect some brutal action sequences as well. As for the cast, Josh Dumel will star as Sheldon Sampson, also known as Utopian, as leader of the team. His character holds very traditional superhero ideals, which Miller explains aren't necessarily shared by all of the heroes in the present day. You can definitely see the DNA of Civil War in there. Dumel is perhaps best known for starring in the Transformers series. Having never seen him in a superhero capacity, it'll be fun to have him at the forefront here in a Superman-esque role. We'll also see Leslie Bibb as Sheldon's wife Grace, aka Lady Liberty. Bibb is of course known for playing Christine Everhart in the Iron Man films. Maybe we'll get to see her get interviewed by Vanity Fair this time around, huh? Their children, Chloe and Brandon, will be played by Elena Campouris and Andrew Horton respectively. In a in addition, we'll see Ben Daniels as Sheldon's brother, Walter, aka Brainwave, as well as Tyler Maine, who played the original Sabretooth in X-Men, as the villain, Blackstar. It's not been stated if the series will tell the entire story in a single season, as the comic is relatively short, but it's possible that it may be expanded upon with details that aren't in the source material. That's one of the beauties of adapting a show over a movie, as long-form storytelling allows much further characterization. 
Jupiter's Legacy will have eight episodes in its first season, which is set to have its Netflix debut on May 7th, 2021. With such small comics getting picked up by streaming giants, it seems like nothing's off the table these days. I would personally want to see an adaptation of another Image Comics series, Saga, somewhere down the line. That space opera with the TV-faced people and the cat that always says lying? Now that deserves the live-action treatment.